Welcome, pastor, ministry leader, to this week's Marry the Vision Vmail. I'm Ron Yutzi. For the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you some things that I pray will lift your spirit, strengthen you in your relationship with Jesus Christ, and encourage you in fulfilling the ministry assignment that He has entrusted to you. So today, I want to talk to you about aligning priorities with your passion. Remember when Jesus said, I must be about my Father's business? Let's examine the life of Christ. As a boy of 12, he told his parents, I must be about my father's business. Or remember later in his earthly ministry, he said to his disciples, we must do the work of him who sent me. John 9 verse 4. Notice in both of these passages the word must. Jesus knew what he was called to do and refused to allow anything to stand in his way or distract him from doing it. He was passionate about his father's work and he aligned his priorities in order to pursue the heavenly assignment that he was entrusted with. We must follow in Christ's example. So what does it look like when you prioritize your life according to the God-given passion within you? Let's talk about that. You end up focusing your thoughts and activities to pursue what God has called you to do. You see, the call of God is exactly that. It's the call that God puts on you. He calls you to do something in the earth or in the church for him or on his behalf. What you're passionate about connects to the call of God that's upon your life. That's why there's a divine drive on the inside of you that just doesn't seem to ever quit or go away. Your main focus as a ministry leader, as a pastor, is to please the Lord Jesus Christ who called you and to do the work that he called you to do. See, You're a gift to the body of Christ. You're a gift to your community. You've got a special grace on your life, and your work is going to be unique, but it's valuable because you're called and anointed by God to share his word, proclaim his word with a people that he intersects you with or sends you to. You're also called by God to bring an equipping to the community of faith, to believers, to do the ministry of Christ in this hour. Let's look at Ephesians 4, verse 11 and 12. Now, these are the gifts that Christ gave to the church. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers. Their responsibility is to equip God's people to do his work, build up the church, the body of Christ. You see, part of this equipping process, Pastor, is to delegate certain ministry tasks that you may be doing right now to other people who are qualified to do them, gifted to do them, who can come alongside and end up serving the people that are represented in your church or community by using their gift. This way it keeps you having the main focus, your call, the main focus. Remember, we see this in Acts chapter 6 as the church in Jerusalem grew. Let's look at it. So the twelve gathered, and the disciples, they gathered together and they said, it wouldn't be right for us to neglect the ministry of the word of God in order to wait on tables. Brothers and sisters, choose seven men from among you who are known to be full of the spirit and wisdom. We will turn this responsibility over to them, and we will give our attention to prayer and the ministry of the word. Well, what happened? Well, then it said, so the word of God spread. The number of the disciples in Jerusalem increased rapidly, and a large number of priests became obedient to the faith. Notice, the spread of God's word, the increase of disciples in their community and church occurred when these ministry leaders kept the main focus, the main focus. One of my personal mentors, John Maxwell, and I'm so grateful for him, he wrote years ago that in the early 70s, he realized that his talents would be maximized and his potential realized only if he had matched his passion with his priorities. Because he found he was spending too much of his time doing tasks for which he didn't possess either the talent or the passion to do. And that he had to make some changes to align what he felt strongly about, passionate about, with what he was doing. And it made a huge difference in his life. Now, he said it didn't eliminate my troubles or remove obstacles that I would occur being in the ministry, 
but it empowered me to face them with a greater energy and enthusiasm. So more than 40 years he spent working to maintain that alignment of priorities and passions. And because of that, you may have heard him say this, but he's kept these words very dear to his heart. And that is, many things may catch my eye, but there are only a few things that catch my heart. It is those things I consider to pursue. Pastor, ministry leader, let me ask you, what captures your heart? What's the heavenly vision that's burning on the inside of you? See, if your priorities are not aligned with your passion, then you got to start making some changes to align those priorities with your passion. Now, I want to help you. I've had to do this in my own life. I've helped other pastors and churches do this. And if you desire help, I'm here for you and for your ministry team in this process. Just reach out to me. I'll respond. I'm truly committed to your ministry success. Now, if this has been insightful and encouraging to you, I'm asking you to share it with another pastor. Send the email to him, send the video to him, send it to another ministry leader. Invite them to join our Marry the Vision emails by simply going to marrythevision.com and signing up for this weekly email. Pastor, please help me reach across the table and around the world. I have such a passion in me to support ministry leaders, pastors, in fulfilling their ministry assignment. That's what I'm called to do. Thank you for helping me to do it. Until next week, this is Ron Yutzi. I'm committed to your success in Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching this video. Please take the time, browse other videos on our Mary the Vision YouTube channel. You can help us by subscribing, liking, leaving a comment, and sharing a video. Continue to pursue Jesus.